All right, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be truthful. I'm gonna be honest. All right. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna speak the truth right now. This show didn't mean shit. This show was. I, I don't know. I I just don't know. Um, I watched the clips when I got back from work. I was all I cared about for Monday Night Raw was the man you see on the layout, Goldberg. Now you, the reason why Goldberg is covering up a little bit of that layout is because Goldberg was the main part of the show. I didn't give a fuck about anything else on the show. Sami Zayn challenging Braun Strowman. The, the cringe-worthy interviews with Charlotte and Lita and Sasha and Lita. Rain to Rusev. Maybe Owen to Jericho and Rollins. I care about that one a little bit. And that's it. The New Day stale. I love them. But it's just stale. It's like, yeah, yeah, WWE, Raw, Tag Team, Champions. Yeah, we get it. It's just not interesting anymore. It's just not. And I'm gonna be honest. Hell in the cell. Sasha Banks versus Charlotte for the WWE Women's Title. Main event, the pay-per-view. I was actually uh, thinking about this. Like, if Trish and Lita were able to were the first woman to main event Monday Night Raw, then. Who's going to be the one to main event a pay-per-view? And I remember watching a Willpower video from Willpower, a uh, fellow YouTuber himself. Um, he did a he did an interview with Sasha Banks, and it was actually entertaining. I enjoyed it. Um, and the thing is, when she she was hoping, she said it, she said it in the interview that she was hoping that like she gets to be a part or maybe the women in general be able to a main event WrestleMania. And I'm thinking to myself, in order for that to happen, there has to be a storyline where we actually hate the champion and the person chasing the title has to be at a Daniel Bryan status to where we want to see the main event WrestleMania. So... The fact that the main eventing Hell in the Cell, I love this. I love this. Because I, I actually never thought of the women main eventing a pay-per-view. Because I always thought, okay, maybe the WWE title will be the main thing on the show. So maybe that's why, that maybe that's the reason why that they're not going to main event a pay-per-view. Nope. 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 No. 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 So... This in it, in this instant we have Charlotte the Queen bow down to the Queen bow down to the Queen versus in quotations the boss um, Sasha Banks for the women's title for the how many time we had the Raw July twenty fifth we had SummerSlam uh, the Raw um, two weeks after Clash of Champions number four. Is it number four? One on one. I'm speaking, not like triple threats and stuff. One on one, right? I I think yeah, one on one. All right. So this match is happening again. Hell in the cell, though. Now I don't I don't have a problem with the hell in the cell. Some people do. Uh, it's just that to me, you know, like I I said it in my raw, in either my raw review or my seven days podcast, which will be in the link in the description box below. That the women need to do shit extreme. They need to do something. If they're going to be on the same level as the men, they got to go through the same shit. Hell in the Cell, Elimination Chambers, Steel Cage Matches, Extreme Rules, I Quit. Huh? So many Inferno Matches. Hell, why not? You know? Same level as the men, right? If you don't do that, then what you're saying is, is bullshit. Because if you're on the same level as the male, then there's certain matches you got to put the women in in order to be on the same level as the men. It makes sense. Because why else would you uh, say that and then have to don't do it at all? 
You know? Trying to make yourself look good. Monday Night Raw is not even good. Monday Night Raw hasn't been good for years. And I mean consistent. I don't mean one show and then, yeah. No, I'm, I mean consistent. To me, since I started watching, from 2009 to 2012... Monday Night Raw was was awesome to me because that's when I started. All right, I know Attitude Era, all that crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but when I started, to me, when I started, Raw was Raw. Raw was the show I wanted to stay up, but my mom kept telling me to go to bed so so you have to go to school the next day. No, I stay up nine to eleven at the time to watch Monday Night Raw, and now. Sh- I'm I'm skipping the majority of the show to get to what's important, even though there's barely anything important of the show. Monday Night Raw was just awful and dreadful. Simple as that. Now, my point about the women, obviously I'm going to keep saying this and saying this and saying this until people fucking recognize it. When Sasha and Charlotte, right... When they go at it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, right? Nobody says a word. Nobody says shit. But yet, John Cena versus Randy Orton. Oh my god. Not this again. Oh my god. Same old shit. Oh my god, I can't take it. They fought for the 130 plus times. Oh, kill me. Oh, cancel network. Like, seriously. I'm gonna keep saying this until people recognize it. You're full of shit to think that, oh, Sasha and Charlotte main eventing, uh, sorry, going at it again and again and again is a positive. But Cena and Orton, negative. Even though Cena and Orton have had classic matches. Sasha and Charlotte only had one classic match. One. It was the day that Sasha won the title the first time on July 25th. The same day Rey Mysterio won the WWE title but lost it an hour and a half later to John Cena. Due to the storyline which led to SummerSlam in 2011 when Punk and Cena fought at it. Then the real cash thing because of Kevin Nash and blah, blah, blah. You know, you, you know the story. So, that's my problem. My problem is that you guys praise Sasha and Charlotte. But yeah, when it's like feuds that have been going on forever for a while back, a while back ago, you guys complain about it. I mean, I could say the same about Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. I could say the same about Rock and Austin. For fuck's sake. I can say the same about Triple H with the authority with the McMahons back in 2000. I can say the same shit about the authority for the past three and a half years. I can say all of that. It's the same thing. But at least back then, they had at least some things that we cared about. This feud, we only had one thing and everything else was just awful. That one match, July 25th. That's it. Everything else is pointless. Like I said, nine to eight, eight to nine months, they've been going at it. Nobody says a word. But yet, when other feuds like Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, people complain about it. Fuck out of here. Now, look, Monday Night Raw, like I said, I only care about Goldberg. Goldberg was the main thing on the show. Goldberg came out, said what he had to say. His entrance, I was hyped as shit. I should have done the reaction. Fuck. I should have. But Goldberg came out, did his thing. And I, I was doing the I was doing his entrance with him and shit. <laughs> it was just so awesome. And then and then I, I've been I've been begging for this shit to happen and now I got it. And I still stand by what I said about him and Brock going at it, but I, I still wanna see it, but at the same time, at what cost? You know, that's what I'm trying to say. But Gober come up and he said, Brock Lesnar, not only are you next, but Brock Lesnar, you're last. And he just drops the mic. I'm like, oh, shit. So, yeah, Monday Night Raw was god-awful. But Goldberg was the main thing I want. I only cared about. Everything else sucked. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick Raw review. If you guys can, click the like button. Subscribe now for more. Follow me on Twitter, at Bowen2DGym. And I'm out. Later.